Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. So I was having a little think recently. I was like, what type of video haven't I done in a while? Hmst. And it turns out I haven't done a hateful gothic makeover on Snog, Marry, Avoid. Nobody wanted to marry you. For ages, my love. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to join the hateful pod and the equally awful presenter, Ellie, who is deeply insulting to our contestants. Are they contestants? Guests? Guests of BBC? Guests of the BBC. In which somebody with their own distinct sense of style or taste, sometimes that phrase is used a little loosely, I must admit, but it is things that make them happy. That is all stripped away and they are given an office uh, makeover. Not, I was about to say office chic. It's not even office chic. It's just water cooler style makeover in which their family are like, oh, she's so beautiful. And she's just got a brown wig on. So, my loves, as I say, it's been a while since I've done this. I think this was early December was the last time I actually did one. Well, might even have been late November with the glitter bandits. Do you remember these? I'm speechless. What is this? Oh, put your nussy away, girls. Wow. So, because I haven't done one of these in a little while, I thought we would take some energy into 2022 of trying to realise exactly what it is that makes us us. And with that comes also people telling us what isn't us and what we should change about ourselves. I'm going to level with you here. I do believe in a level of refinement that is available to all style, but only do it A, if you want to, and B, if it benefits you in some way. If you don't want to do it and it won't benefit you, why bother? Do you know what I mean? When it comes to your own personal style, anyway. So, my loves, I want you to get your beverages at the ready. I've come in gothic glamour today with my Satan. It's not actually Satan, it's just a pentacle. And my skull cup, which is Satan. Mmm. Brains. And with that, my loves, it is time to join Pod in Snog, Marry, Avoid, Girls. Will there be a hateful shoe, I wonder? <laughs> Snog, <laughs> Girls. <laughs> is a self-proclaimed queen of shock whose reign may come to an abrupt end if Pod has anything to do with it. Hi, the queen I'm of shock. Kate, the queen of shock. Oh, oh I kind of I love it. I describe my style as Pat Butcher meets Spankin' Time. Her voice is incredible. Pat Butcher meets Frankenstein. Oh, I love it. You move to London, sis, and you will have a career in nightlife for years to come. East London is shaking. Get out! My grandma doesn't really like the way I dress. You oh. look a bit unusual. She's always kind of saying to me when she sees me, oh, Kate, turn it down. Oh, you're so pretty under all that makeup. It just amazes me and shocks me, really, that she can go around to ordinary places in everyday life. Oh, it's, like but that. It's, it brings joy. Joie de vie. I'm loud. I'm f she was using a stargazer white powder there. Who remembers using that? I certainly do. Fun, but I'm stylish. I like to be noticed. Oh, a parasol Those girls. Things that come off my body. This one is a collection of toenail clippings. Okay, that is repulsive. Is that is absolutely a step too far. I have misspoken because I feel a little bit sick. Unless you're going to be using it for spells and necromancy. What's the point? Don't keep it. No, what's this about to be? Am I going to be sick now? She never looked nice. She looked like art. And art wasn't supposed to look nice. It was supposed to make you feel something. The pube collection. Basically, when I trim, I like to keep them. Sometimes, oh, people think no. it's funny. And I think it's maybe because of the way I dress. I think so. I wasn't expecting to hear quite a painful slur. Sorry, what was that? Sometimes people mistake me for a or dev. I think it's maybe because of the way I dress. I think I've got a deep voice as well. But I like when I get mistaken for a or dev. Love or dev. <laughs> That was on the BBC on live television in, I think it was like, the evening time. Wow. Three consecutive uses of that word. Okay. I'm quite surprised. Am I surprised? For the time, not really. Because RuPaul has that song out. There were people on YouTube saying that word. I was part of a community online that had that word in the title. And just, I suppose the world has moved on from that word. I always thought that I tried to reclaim it, but... You, there is just no reclaiming some words, is there? We just have to leave them in the past. So she gets mistaken for a transsexual woman. I think my best feature are my headdresses. These are incredible headdresses. Whatever I can find, I can actually physically stick to my head, I put on. This is incredible. Oh, look at them. Oh, yes. 
fashion on the go. Daytime tweed with an evening chiffon. It's because I want to find a boyfriend. I think she does scare boys and men too. Oh. I think men are just terrified of her. Susie Sue makeup. I think it would be really interesting for her to see what she looks like underneath it all. Because Hello, Matthew. It's been a do you know what? I, do you know what really, really strikes me as surprising about this kind of a show is that all of these fashion designers, all of these people that make garments and influence fashion, are found in the bars and the nightlife of Britain. Not always, but a lot of them are inspired by London nightlife, London punk, or British punk, should I say? And the idea that then people are like, "No, stop doing that. Stop dressing that." Who do you think is influencing all these fashions? Who do you think is influencing the idea of having like these skulls and headdresses and like oh, all these artistic? people that are looked at to be like, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. People from this show have gone on to be successful fashion designers that influence the art of high fashion. Yet here we are being told they need to tone down. It makes me laugh, girl. A long time since she's seen herself as that girl. I want a job, I want a boyfriend, and most of all, I want to make my nan happy. You want to make your I nan happy? I very oh. much like to see Kate dressed in a more normal, she got a attractive Chelsea cup, way, perhaps. where she's not Kate's drawing head. attention to herself. Oh, where she's not shark. where she's not drawing attention to herself so she you just want her to shrink and be a wallflower what god and the queen of shark can you tell me it's a nice girl with a nice frock a nice girl with a nice frock okay oh why are we spying oh, on I her i didn't see you there sorry just doing a bit of bird watching as a very keen twitcher i think i've just identified a very rare and unusual species called a katie hughes and she's in Ooh. there let's go and check out her plumage Okay. I love her style. Mm. Look at that, incredible. Don't take this wrong way, but um, it kind of looks like you've been punched in the face. Is that a good thing? <laughs> well, I like it, yeah. I like the beginning of look. It's Do cool. you? Yeah. Her okay. voice is and so what is going intense. On here? What is that? Is it heavy? Um, no, it's really light, actually. It's basically kind of like um, a polystyrene kind of donut type thing with her wrap round and yeah, yeah. bits to it. Amazing! Where did you get your so creative then for things like this? Charity shops or kind of on the street, even out of bins. Out of bins? Yeah, yeah, out of skips. What have you taken out of skips? Um, all these bins that I've got on my neck, because they're actually out of a skip. They could be from... That's a little one step too far for me, perhaps delving into skips to get bones. I'm out. But the whole idea nowadays is literally like recycling fashion, recycling your fashion. Don't just buy fast fashion that you're going to get rid of immediately. The idea that back literally 12 years ago, maybe a bit more than that now, maybe more like 13, 14 years ago, that we were like, oh, you go to charity shops and do all that. And now we're like, go to charity shops to find a piece that you might unexpectedly fall in love with. Give it a second life. This is so obscene that now, like, we're watching something that's just like, no, it's disgusting. Yeah, don't bother recycling. Uh, oh my goodness. It was attitudes like this that have led us to the problem that we're in now. They could be from someone's chicken bucket. Yeah, maybe. So I've got a few quick fire questions for you, Kate. <clears throat> Daylight or twilight? Definitely twilight. Hammer horror or hammer time? Hammer horror. Do, do, do. No, okay. Coffin or curlers? Coffin. Of course it's a coffin. Brilliant. Right, um, pod awaits. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it there because I don't know what on earth I would say to that woman. Like, do you think you're funny? Were we collectively meant to just, like, piss ourselves with hilarity then? Is that what we wanted to do? Is that what you wanted us to do? Flood our collective basements? Kate Hughes, 25. Regular job. Oh, don't bother with all that. I am Pod, the Hello. personal overhaul device. Right, Who here we go. are you? Hi, Pod, I'm Kate Hughes. I reckon that lipstick, is that... Oh, what's that? That's a gorgeous pink, isn't it? It's very intense, but I do love it. Is the Victorian funeral look in this year? Yes, I'd describe it more kind actually. Of gothic punk tranny, just throw it all on. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, there's that word again. Oh, it hits me like a train every time. Okay, all right, okay. It looks like it's been thrown on. Why did you headbutt your makeup case? Whatever. <laughs> I look great. Pod would like to know, what kind of reaction do you get from people on the street? Sometimes people give me dirty looks. Pod is going to ask the most ordinary people you've ever seen if they would snog marry avoid this person. And absolutely all of them are going to say avoid. If you're someone of this like elegant magnitude, there is no way that you would want to just give like Lee down the road, like a kiss behind the bike shed. Good heavens. Like that's not going to happen. Well, it might do. People applaud me. Sometimes people call me names, but it's about to get noticed. They're not being noticed at all, I suppose. Absolutely. Isn't there something a bit cliched about being so alternative? I think it's something a bit more cliche about being so normal, like, why? Everyone else looks like that, it's a bit boring. It absolutely, it shows no ingenuity or individuality about your place in this entire plane of existence. That is such a disgraceful...
question to say. No! Absolutely not! For computes, this is just the opposite end of the safe spectrum. What's the last safe? It's boring, boring, boring. Shall we find out what the public think of your look? No, yeah, let's, let's not. How about that? Run. Oh god, Phase here we one. go. Public analysis. Mm. I asked the public, would you want to snog, marry, or avoid this girl? What do you think they said? I think they said snog, of course, pod. I'd avoid, and um, there's a lot of makeup going on. Oh, okay. I may have spoke too soon. This man has one stretched ear, so he's obviously not normal. There's a lot of makeup going on. Um, it's a bit scary, actually. Oh, right, okay. Probably quite a dull person, man. I'd avoid her. Uh, she looks really high maintenance. Um, getting up in the morning looks like that's a military routine. Well, yeah, it's kind of a military routine, but it's a fun one. Uh, I'd avoid her because she looks a bit like a clown, and I'm quite scared of clowns. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, time to eat your soul. I was the world's first supermodel. Me too. I'm not clowning around, Kate, when I tell you that 90% of the public wants to avoid you. What? They're just jealous, that's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you ready for Pod's verdict? You go, Kate. Go on, man. Oh, oh God. What is Pod it? Pod computes that you are a fake fanatic. And you need my goth to gorge make under. If anything, there's something less fake about being so true to yourself that you'd want to express yourself in every situation by the way the clothes as a visual language. That is obscene to suggest that she is fake. <gasps> oh, right, here we go. I'm scared. What are you going to do to me? It is time to run the a deep sex claims. change. Ah, bid farewell to your fakery. Right, here we go. Oh, what's the Sims bye music? Bye. Oh, got to remove my lovely nails. Oh, Take it off. <gasps> Fine. Has she got a Chelsea cut? Has she, has she, has she? Oh, oh this no! This is a real look. Oh. There. Happy now, Pops. Oh, she's Ecstatic. little without the shoes. I'm not. I love those pleaser heels. Look how short I look. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. My face is melting. Thanks, Pod. Oh, wow. Run the make under in three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I look so weird. You think you look weird now? Yeah, I do actually. Oh, I think I look like someone. Karen from something. the office. Yeah, Karen at the school nice. gate. Pod computes that you now look more alive than dead. Mm, I don't like it, to be honest, Pod. It's not really me. This hair's weird. It's your hair, though. I know. Um, Would you yeah, like but she has it shaved at the neck. That is such a strange stylistic choice. And the colour of the shoe is correct. That warm nude is correct if you want to do it. Don't put greige on warm toned skin because it will just look like you've got a dead foot attached. To hear what the public think of you with this All oh, right, here we go. Oh, why not? Right, here we go. I asked the public, would you want to snog, marry, or avoid this girl? What do you think they said? Well, personally, I'd like to avoid me, but I'm going to say... marry. Yeah, that's really good. Good to look kind of cute, yeah. Okay. Kind of cute, charming. I'd snog her because she looks a little bit like Lily Allen, and I'd definitely snog Lily Allen. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. I hate Lily Allen so much. I think I'd snog her. She looks kind of interesting. Kind of. a lot of kind of in there, isn't there? Mm. Now, 70% of the public want to either snog... Oh, it's like she's a sim or a mannequin or something? This hairstyle is not it, sis. ...or marry you, whereas before, 90% wanted to get as far away from you as possible. Oh, that's nice. Thank you for being made under, Kate. OK, thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye, Gail. Right, here we go. Oh, no. Stop with the copyright music, girl. I Grandma my new look. Right. I'm going to react. I think she's going to like the it. Grandma. I am excited. Oh. I hope I'll be pleased with the result. My friend Matthew is also there. So I'm going to see what he thinks of my new look as well. I'm very excited to see what Pod's done to Kate. Oh. I think it'll be quite a drastic change. Matthew is here. Oh! Kate! Hi, Grandma. I look terrible, don't you? Don't. It was a pleasant surprise. Much improved. So, Grandma, what do you like about this disgusting new look? I don't think it's disgusting. I think your hair looks in better condition than I've seen it for years. That is not Kate. I've never seen her looking like that before, <laughs> ever. <laughs> no, I completely agree. You completely agree. I must actually say that even Grandma's hairstyle has got a little element of punk to it, if you know what I mean. This kind of, like, slightly messy styled, almost like a 
kind of like a, a, a bit of a grown out pixie cut. I quite like it. Grandma's on point. My mum's my favourite relative and it's made her happy and it's got a smile on her face. So that's a good positive thing that's come out of today. Yeah, I didn't okay. I think I'd ever see her looking more normal again. And I'm pleased to see her looking like that today. I don't think part, she's I think normal. I did a terrible job. I feel I agree. ugly. When I look in the mirror, I feel like I want to be sick. In fact, I think I might in a sack. <gasps> Oh, she's an actress, girls. She's got the Oscar. Oh. I've cracked the code, oh, girls. Girl, she's got a degree. Right, here we go, girls. Kate. So I'm here to meet up with oh, Kate. Daniel so Lismore. She's her make under, and I haven't seen her yet. Oh, Kate, I are you absolutely ready? love it. I'm ready. Three, <gasps> two, one. Hello. Oh, sweet. And she's even more Hi. insane. Oh, I love I it. Make under. I absolutely <laughs> love it. <laughs> I'm wearing Don't a stop beautiful it. dress, a beautiful bodysuit. You look phenomenal. Gorgeous. In a really, I know. I don't know what you are. You're kind of a leopard printy panda gimp. First in was intercourse. Well, basically, Pod took all my accessories away, all my fakery away. And I feel like she's done me a big favour because I realise much of beauty is not for me. It's fakery, fakery, fakery all the way. It's not fake, oh though. God. It's just hey, gorgeous I art. I so much. I thought you look brilliant. I felt violated. It's OK, do you have a final <laughs> message for Pod, then? Yes, I do. Pod, you took away my hair, you took away my accessories and exposed me to the world. And this is payback. Thank you. Stunning. I realise what my natural beauty is, and it's this. Stunning. Absolutely stunning, girls. Well, I think that's a Liverpool done. OK, my loves. OK, I have quite a lot of thoughts about that there. Quite a lot of thoughts. So that word, that slur that Kate used to describe her style, or at least people have used to describe her and her style, I don't mind when people use words that they have had thrown at them as insults and a way to kind of like judge themselves out of it. I have absolutely no problem. She has clearly been bullied by the public for with that word, that T slur word. And I have absolutely no problems with Kate using that word to describe her style as a way that's empowering to her. No problem with that whatsoever. But I can tell you what that doesn't mean. That does not mean that just any old person can use that word to describe someone they may or may not think is trans in any way, shape or form, because predominantly it is an insult and it is a violent insult. Wow, my my feelings on that word are very, very complicated. I would not be happy to have other people use that to describe me in the slightest. And if I got that hollered at me on the street, I would be very upset about that. But I got this self-confident, self-contained like vibe from Kate that she just knew what she was doing and she knew what she liked and she liked what she liked. So fuck the rest of you. And I adore that. I think what a brilliant, brilliant artistic creative creature of the evening. Back in the day, I would have loved to have bumped into her in a club somewhere. I would have been like, I cannot get enough of your style. Let's go to the after party. Well, my lovelies, it's been quite an intense episode today, hasn't it? Uh, let me know what you think about what we've seen today in the comments box below. Well, a bit of a trigger warning, my loves, trigger warning. And with that, I guess it is time for the Patreons. You can see yourselves scrolling past on the screen here. Yes, you can, my lovelies. Yes, you can. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Hey Bloomers. Thank you so much for following me on Twitch, you stunning woman or duck on the go. And if you want to be in with the chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you go and follow me over on Twitch. It is Laxaria Plays and I stream two nights a week, Monday and Thursday, my loves. I can't wait to start the new Pokemon game. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons, Kelly Loom, Stephanie Neotupski, Laura Ali, Dr. Dreamerella, Steph Utech, Orcos Samoji, Abigail Ash, Andy Henry, Beebles32, Caitlin Coating, Casey Donahue, Shell Herman, ContraPoints, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Dana Broderick, Dr. A, Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, Dara Pavlovsky, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Lane Wade, Min Min TM, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paola Rivera, Princess Lilium, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sexy Taxi RN, Succubus Lena, Travaful, Victoria Carella, Victoria Waldock, and Zaya Naza. Thank you so much for your continued support here on the Chanel Gorgeous Walliers. Oh, very gorgeous, yes. And you know what, my loves? I'm going to leave it on the note of go and be that club kid in the nightclubs that you want to be, my loves. I cannot wait to see your gorgeous creations. If I happen to see you in the clubs myself, that is. And with that, my loves, I will see you in the next video. <gasps> yes.